Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to learn how to express 234 as the product of its prime factors. Before finding the factors of 234, let us revise the definition of prime factors. So factors are numbers which when multiplied gives a product. Prime factors are prime numbers which divide a number fully without leaving a remainder. So we have to express 234 as the product of its prime factors. That means the factors which divide 234 fully without leaving a remainder. I'm going to write first few prime numbers on the, on the right hand side of the board so that it is helpful for us in our division process where we are going to use these prime factors. First few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. For dividing 234, we will be using the ladder method or the prime factorization method. So for this, we are going to write 234 on the top step and we'll write the prime divisor here on the left hand side of the ladder. So here as 234 is our even number can be divided fully with the first prime number which is 2. So we'll divide 234 by 2. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2 and 1 will be carried over here. So this becomes 14. So 2 times 7 is 14. 117 is an odd number and it is not divisible by 7 or 11. So we'll check for the next prime number which is 13. So 13 times 9 is 117. 9 is fully divisible by 3. So we'll use 3 as the prime divisor here. So 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 again is divisible by 3. So 3 times 1 is 3. So here we got all the prime factors of 234. And we can now express 234 as the product of primes as the product of prime factors. So we are going to write 234 as 2 times 13 times 3 times 3. So this is how you can express any number as the product of prime factors by prime factorization method. Here we see that all the numbers written in the product of 234 are prime numbers. So this is how you can express any number as the product of its prime factors. I hope this video is helpful to you and you can now express any number as a product of its prime factors. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.